what's going on y'all welcome back to the channel today I'm gonna do an oil change scrape the deck and put sharp blades we take off the old blades put on sharp blades on my right standard ZK dually appreciate y'all tuning in let's do this <music> through real quick some of the things that I use to do this it's a simple maintenance that we all should be doing okay um, I've got an oil extractor okay you either need an oil extractor or a pan to drain the oil out in uh, I've started using this in the last year or two and I really uh, I really like it it's so much uh, quicker and a lot less mess than the oil pan where you're letting the, the oil drain out now that doesn't negate the fact that you need an oil pan because about every other oil change I actually use the oil pan take the drain plug out to get out as much of the impurities as possible uh, I don't believe this does as much as uh, undoing the drain plug uh, because let's face it this little uh, little suction tube doesn't necessarily get all down around the, uh, the oil pan where, where the oil is so and where everything's settling so I will use this for this this is my 100 hour service I will use the oil extractor on this service when it comes time to do the 200 hour service I will actually use the oil pan pull out the drain plug and do it that way so moving on from that uh, I've got an oil filter wrench because sometimes they get a little tight so you need help getting them off uh, but to put them back on it's only supposed to be hand tight uh, I've got a measuring cup right here to measure out the oil and you will have to look in the manual for your motor to determine how much oil you need to put in the mower once you've drained everything out for the ZK 72 this is the Briggs & Stratton Vanguard 37 horsepower it is a 993 cc motor it requires 78 to 80 ounces of oil so as you'll see right here another tip on my measuring cup I'll write down uh, notes on here for different pieces of equipment and what they require so I don't have to go back to the manual later on and reference that information uh, so for right here I've got ZK 80 ounces okay so I've got my oil right here uh, I choose to run the small engine synthetic by Amsoil this is 10W40 this is what I run in the ZK on both of them the 61 and the 72 so I'll measure out 80 ounces and I've got three and I don't think I'm gonna need it because um, yeah well no I will because these are only 30 yeah 30 ounces each so and I, I really only need it for the two and and there is a measuring thing on here but that's hard to judge when you're like pouring it out and then you look pour it out and look pour it out and look so I like to just pour it in here get exactly what you need so it will take two and then 20 ounces from the third one um, what else funnel always comes in handy so on the, on the van card the uh, oil fill is right here on the front of the motor so it's very easy to get to I will actually extract the oil from where the dipstick is so I will run the smaller tube down where the dipstick is and that's how I will extract the oil and it does have a larger tube right here uh, for whatever application you need so the uh, the Kawasaki engines on the Pro Stance 48 and my standard X48, I use the larger two um, just because of the makeup of the mower. So that's pretty much it. Oh, and I always use uh, genuine parts for the motor. So this is the Brid uh, Briggs & Stratton genuine part oil filter um, with the model number 842921 in case you have this engine. And so yeah, I always try to use those. Um, so that covers the oil change for the mower. I will also pull out the air filter. Uh, I'm not gonna do it on this video. I'll, I'll, I will pull it out afterwards, but I'll pull out the air filter, take a, a air hose and, and blow it out, uh, get any debris that's off of it and put that back in. So that will be it. I'll, I'll check over all the nuts and bolts to make sure everything is good. Look over the belt, make sure there's no uh, damage to the belt that could leave me stranded. Um, 
Another tip, always keep deck belts on hand. So I keep drive belt and uh, the deck belts on my trailer at all times. So just in case this belt breaks, I can keep rolling. So I always keep the spares in my trailer. If I use it, I replace it immediately. Um, so yeah, that covers the oil change. Now for the deck scraping, I use this little painter's tool. This works really well. And I've got my DeWalt uh, impact or torque wrench and a adjustable open-ended wrench and my blades ready. So I've already got a quilt under the mower to, to prepare for that. I'm gonna do the engine oil change first. I've already let the mower run uh, for about five miles, uh, five to five miles. I've already let the mower run for about five minutes to get that oil nice and warm. Um, and that way it's nice, uh, it, it's a lot warmer for the viscosity so it, it comes out easier. So already got it nice and warm. So here we go. Oh, another thing, valuable thing to have on hand, shop towels. Uh, this is definitely a must in case you have a little mess up and you spill something. So I will leave as much of this in real time as possible, but let's face it, some of this may get boring, so I might speed up some of this footage. I do have the mower on the lift already, and I have it up just a little bit to draw all the oil back to where the dipstick is. And just so nothing gets on it, I always wrap it up. Side of the side. All right, so what I did, I just ran off to the shop real quick. I got this little Rubbermaid container and I put this underneath the oil filter when I undo it to catch what little bit of oil comes out so once everything's drained out of here. Um, there is a product out there that I don't have currently that I am planning to get. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's the form of funnel that you can put under that and run it out. So on these stand on mowers, it's really tight in here and it's, I guess it's just a bad, not a bad design, but it's tough when you take the oil filter off. There's nowhere for that oil to go. Um, so I try to get this under there to catch it and then put the new one on. So I just forgot that shop had to run and go get it real quick. Alrighty, so let's get the oil out of here. And you will see how easy the oil extractor is compared to trying to put a tube in there and run it down to a tray and all that stuff especially with this wide deck there's no way you're going to get a tray underneath it so this just goes down where the dipstick was run it down there until it stops and then you just give it a few pumps
take this off. Hang that right there. Put the tube in here. And just like that, I've got it all out. Comes the fun part. Taking the oil filter off. There's a little electrical connector right there. I do take that off in case. much oil starts to come out I can always stop it empty this little container because right now the little tray is catching everything do exactly what the instructions say. Oil the gasket, hand tighten only, check for leaks. Do 78 ounces. And go slow because if you go too fast. The oil will come back out, and that's never fun. So don't go crazy and just dump it in there.
crank them all real quick. Check for leaks. something I will monitor uh, the next time I mow I will I will look it over you know after like the first five or ten minutes of use just to make sure that the oil filter hasn't vibrated loose or something and if it's leaking a little bit it's not that big a deal just tighten it um, so but everything looks good got 78 78 ounces of Amsoil small engine oil in it so time to do blade maintenance oh one other thing on the timer right here uh, not sure how yours is but on right you just do it, click it three times, timer one, timer two, then it says service engine, and hold it down until you see the zeros. It's usually like five seconds, so all right, there's the zeros, then it says service, app, service engine in 100 hours. Hit it again, and it should go back to your regular hour reading. So one, two, three, and then hold it down until the zeros come up. Uh, I'm sure a lot of these timers are uh, not generic, but a lot of these timers are on the same mowers on different brands. Um, so, or a lot of the same timers are on different brands. So, one, two, three, hold till you see the zeros, and then hit it again. And it should come back with your hours. So, I want to do this again for another 100 hours. So, park and break it down. Let's get this thing jacked up. The uh, Fisher Pro Series lift is an ATV mower lift. It is great for this job. It's got safety pins on both sides, so it's a really safe piece of equipment. So I always go to the second click and then put it down so it rests on the safety or on the safety pins. Alrighty. Next up, I'm gonna take the blades off. These through bolts. It's a little easier with two people, but we'll be all right. There's a stack of five washers, so I go ahead and swap these out while I'm at it. That way I don't forget anything. So that's already done. Put the old blade aside. Move on to the next one. Not even close to it. This middle one's a little, a little tougher to get to. But full manage. I uh, didn't uh, scrape these last week, and I should have. And it shows it's like some little mildew under here. Pointer 
happens every now and then with these through bolts. If the nut on top feels like it's seized and it's not coming off, take a blow a blowtorch to it. It'll uh, blowtorch. Try to put a two by four in here with the with the open end wrench to keep it from turning and get you a breaker bar. So it happens to the to the best of us. blade or sharp blade Trying to get the big off, it ain't trying to be perfect. like that. Let's go to the other side. And you, you can sharpen these painter tools and that definitely helps too. Just repeat the process, put your blades back on. And it's recommended that you stagger the blades. So one goes like this, the next goes like that, the next goes like that. Don't put them all the same, it's just to, to balance things out. 
I'm no scientist, I just do what I'm told. Change the oil, replace the old filter. I'm going to clean this air filter out. Uh, that only takes a couple minutes and pop it back in. I uh, scrape the deck and put in fresh, sharp blades. So I'm going to look over those blades. I know that I hit something last week uh, by accident and put a nice chunk in one. I can see it right now. But hey, we all do it. Um, and I know uh, I know a good guy that does blade repair. So. I'll get him on those but anyways that's it guys I'm gonna get the mower put up and if y'all if y'all see anything that you got any questions about or something I could have done better or some tips for me let me know in the comment section down below um, I don't mind a little constructive criti uh, criticism or, or feedback at all um, so I'm I am always learning but that's how I do it and it's it's worked for for me for years so uh, if you got any questions about anything you saw as far as products, equipment, whatever, let me know also. I'll try to help you out as best as I can. Thanks for tuning in. As always, hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so you know when I release my next video. Thanks for following along, guys. Have a blessed day.